This is Andy from the development team at SDR Play. SDR Play is proud to introduce our RSP DX. This is a replacement for the popular RSP2 and RSP2 Pro models. It is a 14-bit multiple input SDR receiver. In this video, we will explain some of the key features of the RSP DX and show it in action across a wide range of frequencies. Here are some of the key features. The RSP DX is a redesign of the RSP2 and the RSP2 Pro. We've kept popular features such as the multiple software selectable inputs and the 4.7 volt 100 milliamp bias T, but we've also added some features that the RSP2 and the RSP2 Pro didn't have, such as the software selectable hardware notches on all ports and a new high dynamic range mode. The RSP DX is only available in a metal case, similar to the RSP2 Pro. Here are some of the specifics. The 50 ohm SMA ports on the RSP2 and RSP2 Pro were only specified down to 1.5 MHz. On the RSP DX, all three ports will operate down to 1 kHz, and the SMA ports now cover the entire frequency range of 1 kHz to 2 GHz. There has been a major upgrade in performance below 30 MHz when compared to the RSP2 and RSP2 Pro, and more specifically, performance below 2 MHz has been substantially improved. The RSP DX, when used in conjunction with SDR Uno, employs a special HDR mode when operating in selected bands below 2 MHz. HDR mode gives the user improved intermodulation performance, fewer spurious responses, and generally improved dynamic range. This is especially valuable when operating in bands below 2 MHz, where reception conditions can be especially challenging. The number of pre-selection filters has been increased with the addition of a brand new 500 kHz low-pass filter for great LF and VLF performance with improved selectivity in strong signal environments. Unlike the RSP2 and RSP2 Pro, all three ports on the RSP DX contain pre-selection and notch filters. The green high z input port has been replaced with a BNC connector. This is a popular connector and is frequently used on many HF and VHF antennas. Unlike the high z port on the RSP2 and RSP2 Pro, the frequency range of this port now goes from 1 kHz to 200 MHz, which is a big improvement from the previous 30 MHz limit. This allows the use of this port at VHF. The RSP DX has a 24 MHz reference clock input which can directly connect to a GPSDO reference clock. This is plug and play and will automatically be selected when an external clock is plugged in. The USB port is the same high speed USB 2 type B connector as all other RSPs. SDR Uno 1.33 is the minimum version required for the RSP DX and will be available at product launch. The installation is the same for all other versions of SDR Uno and we won't cover that in this video. We're going to go straight into some RSP DX action. PME de moins de 300 employés. Microsoft, partenaire de l'innovation digitale des PME en France. RMC. Describes how well we plan and how hard we work. Extroversion, extroverts are outgoing, chatty, thrill seekers. Agreeable. 100 euro on petrol and three years servicing on all models. The Toyota Yaris. Now Available at uch.ie.
Jensen. He scored here in the Premier League. He scored here in the League Cup as well. It's what a piece. Well, without doubt, it certainly is Arsenal's best move of the game. The Dave Berry Breakfast Show. It's Halloween, and they're right now scarier. It's online. That's the use our eligibility checker to find out if your bank was بعد مناسبة وتفر اللي احنا كنا متجمعين فيه طريقة الخروج من هذا التجمع وهذا التجمهر لازم تكون لائقة Or like, and does it feel different? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I kind of before a long time before this, I would like have to go onto the the link and put the password in and go and li- like download the file on my phone yeah, yeah, and like yeah. listen to the whole thing. Agreeableness. Who is more agreeable, left wingers or right wingers? There's much less evidence in in terms of agreeableness. Um, came up with that idea quite early on. His spirit. Something that that, that is physical, but it becomes oh, not cricket, I think, and because I was doing it on the radio as well. Um, are you missing the live performance side of being in REM. What's how, how the feelings at the moment? Oh, I, 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 I've played, I've toured with the Minus Five this summer. I just did that little mini tour of a night of Georgia music, uh, which was incredibly exciting to play on stage. Ridiculous how, how good he is. I love it. It's, it's great fun. Um, you know, when we play with... Uh, Residents of the East and West Coasts, which tend to vote... Rexam in Dagin, Lerpool, um, Argaver gigs, Flesh on the Net, Live. We're in Liney Gurdjieff, the club a Moon, a Camlaini Guy, he tell. Chip it to Bellerine, but Origi was all over him, and the ball ricochets back to Liverpool's possession. Molana, then back to Gomez in central defence. Gomez out to the right hand side to Nicole Williams in the green boots. Elliot makes a run down the line. Now Oxley Chamberlain again out to the left hand side. Milner with space in front of him. Whereas liberals had CDs of world music, art supplies, and books about travel. Again, exactly what you'd expect. Open. <laughs> Da, 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 special 
este după ora 2 că noi suntem în ajutat și ne vedem înstabilit în Germania. We hope that this has given you a small glimpse into what is possible with the RSPDX. As per all the RSPs, the RSPDX will also cover UHF and L-band and all the way up to 2 GHz. You may have also noticed a few changes to STR Uno in the main panel and the addition of a status bar in the main spectrum panel. We are adding more functionality into STR Uno as well as new product support and we will produce videos that cover these features as they are released. You can see more information on the RSPDX and all of the other RSPs on our website at strplay.com. You can follow us on our YouTube channel and Twitter feed for more information and news. And on Facebook there is our official page as well as community groups for both the SDR Play discussions and also for specific SDR Uno information. A new community forum has been started over at sdrplayusers.net and for any product support or questions, go to our official support system at sdrplay.com support. Thank you for watching.